good morning from Thorpe Park. Um, we've come here on the spur of the moment today, um, so we're not going to be here very long just because of the amount of travel time involved. Um, it's a Monday and it's really quite busy considering there are a lot of school trips as well as lots of uh, group of groups of young people. I'm guessing now the universities have kicked out for the summer. They're all headed here. And we've just given Arthur a quick feed in the dome. And now he's having a change, as you can see. And um, just wanted to point out that the changing facilities in the toilets at the entrance aren't the best. I've not bothered filming them. Um, they're not very nice. They're okay. They'll do any port in a storm if you're desperate, but um, otherwise I would wait until you get into the actual park. Okie dokie, so first ride of the day down, for Carly at least anyway, uh, it was a Colossus, um, so Carly, thoughts, feelings? Um, I really enjoy Colossus, I know it's got a reputation for being rough, and it is a bit rough, let's be honest, but you can put your head forward a little, so you don't get any abashing, um, and plus I really enjoy the Heartline roll at the end, I think it's great fun. Standard for Thorpe Park, <laughs> only joke. Right, we're gonna um, go for a bit of a wander and find the next ride to go on. I didn't go on it just because the queue is a little bit sticky at the minute um, and as, as Carly's just said, uh, you don't see too many trains come at the station. So um, we we'll may come back in a little bit and uh, see how we get on, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll keep you informed.
Okay, so just done a uh, ride on Swarm. Um, Carl has just gone on now using the old parent pass. Um, uh, and yeah, it was really good. Uh, front row. Um, first time I've been on the front row, I just said to Carly, probably in about two years, uh, two, three years maybe. Um, normally prefer the back, uh, obviously, for obvious Coast of Geek reasons. Um, and it was really, really good fun. I was on the um, right hand side of the track, so sort of the near side as opposed to walking over the track before you get on. Loved it, absolutely fantastic. Uh, it made such a difference not having like the rest of the train in front of me. Um, so views wise it was stunning and of course because of the side of the train I was on I got like that far off the water when you go around the bit with the helicopter so uh, it was fantastic. The only downside to it, as is always the way we ride, uh, was the queue. Um, some people uh, struggle to figure out how to queue, uh, particularly if they've not been there before which is fine but some people create like a massive bottleneck or they just block the queue off entirely just because they're trying to organise the queue line and it doesn't need organising, it sorts itself out. So other than that, it was fantastic, it was brilliant. Um, we might get Carly's thoughts when she comes off because um, she does love a good wing coaster. So yep, good, good, good. <laughs>
it. And I'm just going to have a quick stroll into the shop and just show you what's happening with the merch here. So, you see this is the sweetie end. But it is Thorpe's 40th anniversary this year, so they do have some special merch for the 40th. So anyway, there we've got mugs, we've got resins, we've got caps, Colossus merch, Nemi Inferno, all the good bins there. Colossians again. Magnets. Resins. Snowboat. That was for Carly. Um, more resins. TY toys, more magnets. There we go. Hooded jacket for Saul, the classic. Swarm merch. Stealth, that's nice. And that's new. Ooh. Swarm stuff, saw stuff. There we go, more resins. That's the other way to go. And over this side, we have the generic park merch. All the different ride teddy bears, and then the Thorpe teddies, then the Thorpe cups and trophies. The adrenaline clothing range and thrill stuff like they have at Alton Towers just to it is interesting the different style that they have down here as opposed to uh, that where Towers is obviously Chessington don't really do that kind of merch um, so still Walking Dead branded merch pop Funko figures more of the generic island merch it's all nice though Effort's been put in, that's always a good thing. And of course the famous hairy monster gubbins. It's all a bit odd, but never mind. So I'm sure somebody likes it. Posters, gubbins. There we go. One thing to mention is they do have the um, Coke Freestyle Cups here, which are like the Merlin Annual Pass Cups or the uh, Quenchers, where you can get them refilled all day long. But here they're a bit more expensive, but of course you get a Coke Freestyle drink, so you can have whatever you like, and I highly recommend it. And you can bring them back and get them to reactivate it. I think it's for about three, for three pounds or five pounds. I can't remember what I just got charged, but if you bring it to the island shop, they'll reactivate it for you for the day. And the staff here are really, really friendly, really, really wonderful. Um, so, oh, pin badges, don't forget pin badges. Oh, pins, there we go, pins, pins, pins. Very nice. Ooh, foot fit, foot fit, there we go. That's nice, ooh, Carly like that. She loves her lanyard. Let's see, we've got the 40th anniversary, there we go. We were saying on the way down, we wouldn't find the problem if that was the Thought Park logo nowadays, because it's a bit nicer than the current one, but never mind, anyway. That's your thought, Merge. We'll, uh, we'll catch up with you in a little while. See ya. Okay. So last time we spoke to you, well, last time I spoke to you, um, we just done, well, I'd just done Swarm and I was waiting for Kylie to come off Swarm. So Kylie's just going to add her thoughts on Swarm. Um, car coming. Car coming, we'll just move out of the way. Okie dokie. So Kylie, what did you, what did you reckon Swarm? Okay, so it was my first time on the outside on Swarm. I'd only ever sat on the inside seat before, which I think really made a difference. It felt a lot more intense. Also, I just wanted to give a shout out to the restraints on Swarm, which I absolutely love because I've got a bit of a thing about liking to feel really tight in the restraints and you can push them as tight as you like. Thumbs up from me. <laughs> yep, so uh, that was Carly's experience on Swarm. Um, so after that, we went and we got a bite to eat, Burger King. Um, and then we went on Stealth. So Carly went on Stealth first um, and then I went on afterwards. So. Carly's quite fond of stealth. I don't know. She's never quite mentioned it. I mean, how, how was your how was your ride today? I absolutely love stealth. I'd, I'd go as far as to say it's probably my favourite. Um, not because it's a fantastic roller coaster in particular, but just because it makes me smile every single time I come off feeling fantastic, and I just want to do it again and again and again. 
back row, always the back row, arms in the air. <laughs> you won't get anything better in my experience. Just be prepared to prop yourself up when you hit the bottom of the top top hat because if you're not prepared, yeah. Good crikey, uh, you've not got any option left inside you by the time you get to the top. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, but no, as long as you're prepared, it's, it's, it's epic fun, epic fun. Um, so then, um, yeah, Kylie did another go on stealth after I've been on, uh, and then I love it. Yes, she does. She does. <laughs> she see, she she doesn't mention it. She doesn't like to mention it. Um, and then after that, because um, like as Kylie said earlier on, we're not having a full day here just because of traffic and uh, and, and commitments we've got to get back for. So, um, mainly well, children. Yes, <laughs> funnily enough, ruining our fun. <laughs> That's a joke, by the way. Um, and so uh, as Kylie went to uh, give Oliver, Oliver. Arthur a feed, sorry, don't know who Oliver is. Uh, give Arthur a feed um, for the journey back. <laughs> um, I, uh, I went round for a quick uh, fast track run on uh, Nemi Inferno and then stealth again. Um, absolutely fine. Um, uh, most noteworthy thing about Nemi Inferno, uh, everybody knows about it, but they actually had the uh, the Mistron in the volcano, which is always good fun, and the Mistron in the tunnel, which once again, you missed that. Oh, and also, uh, final thing to mention on stealth, um, they actually had the smoke machine working underneath the track at the back when it launches, so if you're on the back row, you can't get full of smoke just before you launch, so it's a bit disconcerting. Carl didn't know that they did that. Did got something <laughs> very, very wrong. So that's always a good thing to have, uh, particularly to scare people who've never been on it before. Um, but yeah, as I've said, they, they, they do do that on Reese sometimes if it's working and they can be bothered to operate it. So other than that, we're just heading back to a car now, uh, not far away, uh, and we're going to head on home. So um, just to wrap up, uh, fantastic visit to Thorpe as always. Um, short, shorter visit than we normally would have liked, but uh, that's just the way it goes. Uh, we did fast track it just because we were only here for a short period of time and also because it was way busier than we were expecting it to be. It was be. super busy actually yeah. for a Monday. Yeah, uh, it sort of got busier as the day's gone on as well. Um, so no shame in getting fast tracks. Um, and um, we made the most of the time that we had. And yeah, really, and really good. The sky good. is blue. The sky is blue. The sky is blue. And, and um, it always makes it much more of an, uh, an event coming to Thorpe Park because it always seems to be, we always think this, but it always seems to be like sunny. You've got the palm trees, you've got the beach, you've got, you know, tidal waves smashing away in the background with water everywhere. And it just feels like a, like a holiday as opposed yeah. to just coming to a theme park. So it's always good fun. Um, Carly, you just had one thing to mention about um, ride ops, didn't you? About um, staff. Oh, yeah. Um, just that they're very young here and it can be a bit disconcerting at times um, especially when they're having a good old chat and you're thinking oh no have they actually checked everything yeah we don't like we don't like to go go too hard on any staff members because we know that lots of the times they're understaffed and that's not their fault that's obviously other people's uh, uh, doings um, but if you're in a position of trust and you need to you know you're checking safety and all that kind of stuff just just please make sure that you are actually <laughs> checking people's restraints and not just leaving one member of staff basically to do everything. Um, towers have a different thing at the minute, there's a lot more um, people across the age range there so that just in, you know, it gives you a bit more uh, confidence um, in the responsibility there but, but you just notice sometimes, particularly on a busy day, just just you know just make sure you're checking everything i and feel bad it. for them as well because they tend to get oh, quite yeah. stressed and harassed they do sometimes get abused from members of the public and yep. they're very young to be dealing with all that so yeah so lots i think it would be nicer if there was an elder type person there as well just yep. for a bit of support and backup yeah and also you know making sure that they're getting the proper training to to, to make sure that they are doing all you know everything they should be doing because once again they're not going to know unless they're told to so but anyway I'm not going to end on a negative because it was a really, really fun day um, and uh, always, like we said, always a pleasure to come to Thorpe Yeah, Park. we love Thorpe. We do indeed. And Carly <laughs> did get some merchandise as well. So. Of course! <laughs> so, um, yeah, other than that, really good day and, uh, yeah, we'll see you on our next adventure. Bye! Ta-ra.